What's up everybody? It's been a minute and I know I've been away for a pretty pretty long time. Yes, yes, yes. We needed to take some time off and see how we can make our videos better and how we bring you the information. Yeah, I'm back again and I just came back in the school of entertainment and this week has been crazy. The past couple of weeks have been insane and so much going on in our entertainment industry and with our entertainers. We're talking about the musicians, the spotters, the fashionistas, the comedians, everybody that comprises the entertainment industry. So, so much has been going on and it's been an amazing vibe. The bad, the good and the ugly are here to dissect it for you. Over the weekend, the Toronto Raptors of the United States did win the NBA. And is that what is making news now? For the first time, we have a Cameroonian, the very first Cameroonian to win the NBA. 2018-2019 is having crazy vibes. And that Cameroonian is Pascal. He's been all over social media. Do you know how it is? Even those who didn't know him are now publishing his pictures and talking about him pretty much everywhere. Amazing vibe and congratulations to the guy. And in the world of music, do you know who has been trending over the weekend and all over the place? We look at Stanley Eno. Stanley Eno has been pretty much everywhere for the past two weeks and he's been going crazy and crazy. You know how it is. He's always filled with so much energy. Stanley Eno was in Boya and shut down Boya in the Ebony Supreme. Everybody came up and the hailing was crazy. He didn't end there. He left there and went to Tanzania and in Nairobi, Stanley Eno did shut the show as well. It was a crazy vibe for Stanley Eno over the weekend. Mm, and, and to add more goodness to what is already good, Stanley Eno was also pictured in the club with one of the top artists of Africa, Diamond Platinum. And guess what he was doing? Vibing to his latest song, My Way. Is that not just how you put the country on the map? I mean, Stanley Eno is doing amazing stuff. No wonder somebody came on social media and described Stanley Eno as pornography. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Somebody actually did describe Stanley Eno on social media over the weekend as pornography. And why did he say that? He said Stanley Eno is like that person or that thing that people hate in hiding and in hiding, they are there watching. You know what it means? Yes, yeah, Stanley Eno is like that guy. They keep hating his vibe, but he keeps rising because more people are hating him as same people who go watch his stuff and talk about his stuff and vibe to his stuff. Crazy, right? Yeah, and that's enough about Stanley Eno. We look at TZ Panchak over the weekend. TZ Panchak has been making tons and tons of news over the weekend. You remember last in one of our editions we spoke about that song Naso that TZ Panchak put out a Naso challenge that TZ Panchak put out one of his songs and freestyle that he did in the studio and decided to put it out as a challenge it was titled Naso this song has turned into a hit TZ Panchak was in the studio and just did this song out of some excitement and freestyling in the studio decided to make it a challenge a couple of artists jumped on it and I guess his focus was trying to hit all the artists that already met in the industry but those who took up this challenge were rather upcoming artists. Was that a bad thing? No, not at all. Of course, it has given us the opportunity to finally discover amazing, amazing talents in our entertainment industry. You know how I always say it. All these entertainers who are sitting and feeling like, oh, we're already too big. Mm, the young shall grow. I needed to remember that. Over the weekend, TZ Pancha finally brought together some of the people who took part in this Nassau challenge and did amazingly well and did a collaboration with them and did release the song. And guess who was trending all over social media? Aside the fact that there were three people who joined him on this song Tina Tina a new name in our entertainment industry was all over social media is that not talent to look up to I mean to add goodness to goodness Kosi came online I was like who is this Tina girl I mean she is a blessing to Cameroon music industry do you all want to check what Tina is going to do next I mean we can't wait to see right amazing vibe over the weekend and TZ Panchak deserves all of the accolades putting these upcoming artists in their places talking about love stories over the weekend do you remember the Flurry Boys? Yeah, the Flurry Boys are two tall guys who have been making music for a pretty long time now. But is that what's happening? No, he was in love between two of them. One of them, called Jamie Lee, proposed to his long-time girlfriend, Abiola, the dancer, choreographer, and entrepreneur. Amazing vibe, right? These two are going to be getting married. Oh, wow, how cute. Hmm, stories has it that they started on Twitter, you know? These two, it was simply a simple text message on Twitter, and the girl responded, and then boom, relationship. So all of you girls who are playing hard to get, even when we meet you on the street, better ease up or you don't want to get married. Congratulations to Jamie Lee, yeah? And talking about love, we look at Tila. Huh? Tila, the rapper. Same rapper who was rivalry to Askia after a few minutes of pretense of friendship. This same 
Sila published a picture on social media over the weekend about love, 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 professing love to some dude. And I was so excited for her. I mean, I am still excited for her. It's an amazing vibe. I mean, just after Askia was engaged, hmm, you know, yeah, Tila is professing love to some guy. But is that all? No. Recently, Tila published pictures on social media of her being pregnant. Tila is pregnant. Who is the father of the baby? Not our concern. But trust me, if you really want to know, we're always here to give you what's hot. I was now we're gonna dig that story out for you. Attila is going to be a mama. Oh, love, yeah. So much love in our entertainment industry in the air. <sighs> we can't get enough. I'm guessing you have not forgotten how I said it at the beginning of, oh, oh, ending 2018 and the beginning of 2019. That one of the artists that you have to look up to as far as 2019 is concerned is Corsi, the big dreams, signatory, and entertainer, and Cameroon's fastest rapper. Yeah, this guy keeps making moves and moves. Just for the record, he released one of his hit singles. But aside that, is that all that Kosi is doing as far as moves is concerned? Of course not. Kosi is going to be having his very first Europe tour. Yes, just a couple of weeks ago, we announced in one of our editions that Kosi was having his second international concert. No, this time it's bigger. Kosi, from the 4th of July, he's going to be having a European tour. Big, big moves. This is how you make music. This is how you make money. Of course, the show and the business. Congratulations to Big Dreams for putting this guy in the right place. And added to that, recently, the boss of Big Dreams Music also published on his social media platform that Kosi is going to be working with a new management. Civil communications and events are going to be handling Kosi's management, whereas Big Dreams is going to be taking care of his artistry and production, of course. Amazing stuff happening for the young guy. We can't wait to see what the future holds as far as Kosi is concerned. Talking about those who are making moves, you remember we spoke some time ago in our editions at local was stopping music oh yes no we didn't actually say that we said local twitter that he wanted to stop music because he was affecting his health something about music that was affecting his health well he didn't stop of course he started making some motivational speeches and talks on youtube which is getting and gaining ground and a lot of following but aside that local recently released this album titled cloud nine you know what cloud nine is when you're in ecstasy when you're all over the place when you're living out of this earth that album is everything you need to listen to is available on all downloadable platforms amazon spotify itunes you need to check this cloud nine album out the very first album that he's releasing with his new record label universal music this locus third album amazing vibe from the guy and you need to check out this album on the sad side of our news this week we lost one of the best and one of the strongest video directors regis tala art tala as he was popularly known he has produced a couple of videos and for some reason the cold hands of death took him away from our industry may his soul rest in peace recently a Ube put out all the record label release pictures of her and her upcoming singles that are going to be released soon. We can't wait to see. The anticipations are really high and just like we said before, it's been an amazing vibe watching what Stephen's music has been doing with our entertainment industry and they never leave us disappointed. We can't wait to see what's going to happen as far as Ube's career is concerned in this record label. Yes, and talking about Alphabet Records and a million views is becoming norm in that record label. Every little single song that they put out is beginning to hit a million views. Yes, talk about Salatiel and his song Anita that hit a million views really, really fast. And we thought that that was it, a record breaker. And then Mr. Leo came up with his recent song, Amen. I mean, the audio wasn't really held with so much vibe as the video when Ken shot that video and told the story as it is. And so many people related with it. Trust me, Mr. Leo has been breaking records with that video. A video that hit one million views in two weeks. Amazing, amazing vibe. This was a crazy, crazy move from Alphabet Records. Congratulations to Mr. Leo and the CPE team, of course, because they deserve credit for that. If this was just an audio, I don't think it would have had that so much vibe. But I think that Alphabet Records is putting in so much work. So much, so much work. This is a record level to definitely reckon with. Congratulations to Mr. Leo again. And you know how that story is? Man, so many people are out there just looking for your downfall. If not for the concern of God's love for our lives. That's what Mr. Leo is saying in that song truth right relatable music you need to check out that song and yes talking about releases there's a new song by brian 
Frico featuring means this is an amazing vibe and a storytelling club banger you need to check out this video amazing of course shot by the great dr ken stephens talking about releases Tenor has also put out one of his first first projects with universal music besoin de souris and it's a video and an audio all available on youtube and downloadable platforms you need to check that out the last on the list is edgar edgar's gospel artist and he put out one of his songs you need to check out you are going to have the link of all of this in the bow below we have tons and tons of information to dissect for you this week i know it is why yet to give you what's hard and not to bore you yeah that's why we have to make it as fast as possible that's what happened in our entertainment industry over the weekend if you love what we're giving you i love to continue hearing what we give you please do share to others and do not forget to click that red button below if you have not and do ring the bell so that you receive the information first when it comes in don't forget to follow us on our numerous social media platforms we are always here to give you what's hot and what's not, it's your boy, Karawa.